Well, earlier we had a police chase and it looks like, yep, we have another one going on right now as LAPD right now is in pursuit of a stolen car here. Sky Fox up high above. You're watching live here on live now from Fox as we continue to bring this to you. Uh, you know, like I, I was saying earlier that these somehow, I don't know what it is, but sometimes these police chases that we have, they come in bunches here and it just seems like, yep, we have another one going right here. And of course, we got it covered for you right here on live now from Fox. And uh, this one, though, is going at a high rate of speed here. We are taking a look here at uh, this minivan that uh, is really whipping right now. And uh, as soon as we get some, uh, uh, if we see the coverage there from Fox 11, we're going to go to that. But right now, we are taking this to you live right here on Live Now from Fox. Viewer discretion is advised um, because of these just really high uh, rates of speed here. Suspect, uh, really uh, no shame right here at, uh, at all, trying to evade authorities. Right now I'm just uh, updating the lower third here graphic so that uh, when new people come on uh, they'll definitely know what is going on right here just wanted to let our uh, great viewers know what is happening here so like I was saying earlier we did have a chase this morning it went three hours this one uh, just starting out here for us and uh, we appreciate all our viewers coming in I know uh, with police chases here you start maybe from the beginning I know you're going to come all the way until the end right here to watch it with us and what we'll do is uh, we'll just keep this up for you live raw and unfiltered right now and uh, in just moments my colleague Andy Mack here will have uh, the play-by-play -play here as well. As soon as we see coverage of Fox 11, if they uh, take it to their air, we will bring it to you right here on Live Now from Fox as well. But uh, Sky Fox images showing this right now. Suspects stole this minivan, now taking it on a joyride here. And unfortunately for that owner has to now watch this coverage here and just hope that there won't be uh, much damage and if at all here to the vehicle. Okay, what do we have here? Pulling over to the side of the shoulder and then thought about it and then said no. Chase continues right now as police continue to pursue this suspect here. That was that was something. Okay, okay. now we're not even going to try to stop for the red here. We're just going to continue on almost hitting that blue car right there. Weaves out of the way and now runs through the light and the chase continues as, you know, we've seen these, especially when they get to the side streets. That is when uh, problems happen. That's when crashes happen here. So we're hoping that isn't the case there, but you never know. And uh, again, our viewers are joining us here today live from all over the country as uh, this chase now uh, continues in the Los Angeles area of a stolen minivan here at this moment. And uh, police continue to uh, track it right here. What will the uh, suspect do? And that is the true wild card moment here that we just don't know. Uh, obviously, if they have a wild card willing, willing uh, to uh, steal a vehicle, you just don't know what they are what they are going to do next. We do have now Fox 11, our great team out there in Los Angeles. They have the play-by-play -play here as well as this chase continues on. Let's listen to their coverage.
the ground units to get their ways back over here to where this is. Laurel Canyon and Paxton, you can see them making a hard turn right there. Once again, keeping, uh, keeping a little bit better than the speeds on the roadway, but definitely breaking a lot of laws. Here we go, against the, going against traffic and really starting to kick up that speed. Now, what is the exact want for this vehicle? Well, that one's a tough one, because at first they were saying it was a carjacking, then they were saying it wasn't a carjacking. There was another vehicle underneath the bridge, a silver Mercedes. That went one way, this went another. And the LAP PD airship stayed with this one, got onto the freeway, but then kind of got off and made this big U-turn, and the ground units started following the wrong car. So now this vehicle is making its way up here into the Pacoima area. You can see those speeds right there. Let me put up that speedometer for you. We're going to try to keep it keep it in the shot, especially in this on this roadway right here. Paxton, that is going to be one of those ones that parallels the freeway. And also, this van seems to really enjoy going underneath the freeway and then not coming out. He did come out again this time. There you go. Getting really tight, getting squeezing through there. A lot of traffic. Looks like he wants to get back onto the freeway, and he's going to accomplish it right there. Now, LAPD, they're trying to get their ducks in a row. I'm not saying that in any kind of mean way. There are a lot of cars on the road this afternoon, and this vehicle moving very, very quickly. The communication, well, they're trying to get it to those ground guys, and they're trying to get a police car behind it. Right now, looks like we're getting back onto the 118 freeway, and you can see those speeds really starting to pick up. I'd like to show you those speeds. There they are. Sorry about that. And you can see those speeds now almost 100 miles an hour. It's a uh, Dodge Caravan, and you can see it moving along at quite a good clip. Oh, okay, copy all. I thought we had somebody in the in the studio down there that I was going to be talking with. Sorry about that, but you can see those speeds really moving along out here this afternoon. Again, what is the original want? We're saying we're going to just kind of go with right now a carjacking suspect. Don't know if that's the car that, that he actually carjacked, or maybe that is just his vehicle. But right now, very, very high speeds. A lot of the folks on the freeway this afternoon not really knowing about what's going on. Very, very high speeds. The helicopter, the LA. PD helicopter. That's the one that's going to be behind it. And only thing that is from law enforcement. So in, in also in a way, you might think, well, are we in pursuit or are we in tracking? Well, we are kind of in a tracking mode just because of the fact that we do not have any law enforcement on the ground behind it. Now, California Highway Patrol, they are going to be notified of this. They might have a unit on the freeway over here, might just be doing patrol and be able to get behind this. And then it would become a full-fledged pursuit once again. Right now, though, this vehicle moving very, very quickly LAPD making those calls telling the ground units how to get in in this area or try to get them in this area that van starting to use diff all the lanes of traffic out here that's also a very dangerous move 100 miles an hour in that caravan well we all know it I'm not, it's not putting anything down on that vehicle but not very not known for its high performance tactics that driver behind the wheel also I would venture to say probably not a trained driver and now we're in that carpool lane going about a hundred and something miles Miles an hour. Now, this is the 118 freeway. Anybody that lives in the area knows that speeds on the 118, well, they're probably posted at 65, but if anybody's going 65, they better be in that slow lane. This freeway always has this a lot of high speed traffic, but this afternoon, this caravan moving at 100 miles an hour plus, and you can see it right there, passing all those other vehicles like they're almost like they're standing still. LAPD, they're the only ones behind it right now, and when I say behind it, I mean above and behind because it's the helicopter. And they're the only ones there right now. I'm going to keep an eye ear on the scanner while I keep you guys updated on where this is going and how this is going. But I'd like to know if they are able to get California Highway Patrol behind it and or possibly another LAPD vehicle. But right now, you can see that vehicle just kind of moving around, slowing down. Got, at least got it out of the triple digits. That's a huge plus. But apparently, this vehicle is still moving along. Whoa! 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 And Whoa. that is exactly what we're always worried about. Roxy, I hear you're joining us. Yes, yes, you heard me there with my woe. Yes, dude, it's been a busy morning for both of us. Uh, this is our second pursuit we've been following this morning. So here we go. We're on the 118 freeway. This car driving recklessly, uh, speeding, uh, even on the freeway, going extremely high rate of speed and very, very careless. And um, it's, it's interesting because this is the same car that was involved earlier in a crash right in Burbank and this is now a stolen vehicle out of Ventura is that right you know what, Roxy, if that's the information that our assignment desk is giving you, then this is all going to be starting to make sense because LAPD very, 
very interested in this vehicle. They've been chasing it for quite some time, apparently, and it's been eluding officers. But if this is the one that's involved in that crash from earlier on in the Burbank area involving LAPD officers, then that is for sure the reason why they want that suspect in custody. We're getting off the freeway here. You can see it right there. Reseda, this is always very busy. Not a good decision on that driver's part, making that turn going up to the north here. Looks like we're going to be heading towards Rinaldi, but this is always a very busy intersection out here. It looks like we got lucky right now. Seems like there isn't that much traffic, but again, that uh, caravan moving at 100 miles an hour plus and in, in for quite a bit of time, making his way onto Reseda Boulevard, stopping there in traffic. That's the first time we've seen this vehicle actually stop. Now, the, it's, been, uh, it's been going under these overpasses on the freeway. That's kind of where it was hiding just moments ago, but then we've seen it live. There's been a couple of times he could have made that same stunt, a little hard on the wheel there as we're just Skyfox directly above it. Got a good look at that driver's hand on the wheel. Look at that. On the center divider, going to do a little pirouette here. Hope everybody took their drama wing at home. But that vehicle continued to move along at a good clip on Reseda Boulevard. And it seems like we're heading back into the valley right now. It's going to be more and more traffic. And if he keeps those high speeds up, I am very worried for the public safety. And, of course, that suspect as well. But right now, 80 miles an hour on Reseda Boulevard. That is unheard of. Using the, uh, the bicycle lane right there and making his way up to what looks like a red light and a hard right turn here as we're making our turn on the Chatsworth. Now, Roxy, just real quick, the Chatsworth was where we picked this thing up just moments ago. This is where it all started. It was underneath the 118 freeway and Chatsworth. I know we're on the other end of the valley, but he's been going about 100 miles an hour. Makes me wonder why he wants to go back to Chatsworth all the time. Yeah, that is interesting, but you know, we always talk about it with these pursuits. These uh, suspects end up going areas that they're familiar with or maybe they have an invested interest in. So the fact that he keeps circling back to this area in Chatsworth and uh, the 118 there uh, makes you wonder. Um, so, Stu, following this um, closely, it looks like there's only one driver, that's at least what we think, uh, in that vehicle, right. one person inside of that car. We have no idea, you know, if this person is armed, what they're capable of, what they have with them. Uh, but obviously the demeanor of this individual is one that he's reckless and careless and doesn't seem to be all that concerned about endangering others. Almost like the mentality of nothing to lose, which can be a very, very dangerous place to be. Definitely, and, he, and when you uh, you said it exactly the, correctly, embrazened. You know, he was in pursuit, or apparently, if this is the vehicle, which I believe our assignment desk would get that information correct, if this is that vehicle, he had lost an LAPD pursuit earlier on. Maybe he thinks he can do it again. I know we're getting close to. I haven't looked out the window because this vehicle moving so quickly and do, making these crazy maneuvers. But I know we are near the Northridge Mall, and I'm hoping that if the uh, LAPD helicopter is picking that up as well, I'm just worried that this van is going to try to make his way over to that mall and then hide in that parking structure. We've seen that so often in the past. But right now, though, you can see him right there. Tampa going oh, 60 miles an hour, passing everybody in that center divider. This is an unbelievably dangerous. This is an area that's always packed. You got a California Highway Patrol right there. And he, whoa, wow. that was a solid red. That was a solid red. And, you know, this is the thing. It's like we, my blood runs cold every time that happens happens and I always worry there's somebody that just doesn't know what's going on and then don't mean that like oh I don't know what's going on who expects somebody to go through an intersection at, uh, at almost 60 miles an hour when it is a solid red more traffic that means there is another red light coming up or coming up on plumber there so we're very close to the uh, to the mall got his way through that one too extremely lucky I wouldn't say skill at all but it looks like we are going to be paralleling the mall right here keeping an eye on it he's not slowing down so I'm thinking we're just going go right past it yeah uh, there have been so many close calls uh, just in the last oh. oh my goodness so many close calls losing track of that but yeah most of the people down below i mean unless they're listening to the radio we have to assume that they don't know what's going on and that's what makes it so dangerous because people are just following uh you know the the rules they're yeah. driving the way they're supposed to stopping when they're supposed to going when they're supposed to go and then you have pedestrians on top of that maybe even bicyclists mixed into it and if you don't know what's going on you're not going to be paying attention and backing away from this guy and uh, this guy doesn't seem to care and look at that the speed is just unbelievable Jeez. 
Yeah, unbelievable, and he's getting that little bit of a bounce. We're on Nordoff way. There's a lot of S-turns out here. We've covered a couple of fatal head-ons because of those S-turns that are coming up, and it looks like we've already made our way past that, cutting through the uh, gas station right there, making their way. Let's see if he stops. It looks like he stopped here, he's, and uh, maybe it's just because he can't get through, but uh, definitely looks like he stopped there for a moment. We're going to get Sky Fox to keep moving just in case he jumps out. It looks like he's coming through the other side, going very, very slow. I hope this guy is not looking for another carjacking victim, because remember, this is a carjacking suspect. So we're going to keep an eye on that, and hopefully he's not going to try to jump out and try to take somebody else's vehicle. Uh, but again, we're underneath that awning right there, we're going to see what's going on. But uh, unusual activity, for sure, kind of backing up. But uh, this is uh, something, it's like, look at the amount of time we're spending here. Uh, LAPD, the helicopter's got to be calling this out. I'm going to stay a little bit wider as he's making his way there the LAPD helicopter just wondering where the LAPD up oh, there they come there they come they're getting there they're they're in the area but they're on I believe that's going to be side. on Corbin yeah. so they're on the other side yeah, this is going to be one of those ones where it's going to look like you know they don't know where, where what they're doing but there's that the, the, the van doesn't know the officers are there there they oh, go he there. Uh, now he spotted them and the uh, pursuit's back on again. Whoop, getting oh. back on to Corbin. And now we're going to be heading northbound on Corbin. The, again, you can see all these cars out here. This is a very busy part of town. We're going to go right by the uh, Olive Garden. That's actually a Nordoff and Corbin. And there it goes, right through that intersection. And the speeds back up to those high speeds again. LAPD, I venture to say, they will not be matching those speeds, especially out here on these surface streets. Yeah, that was a that was a strange move there into that gas station. For a moment, I was even thinking, like, is he going to stop and fill up? Uh, that would have been interesting. Yeah. It's been a, it's been quite a morning with the earlier pursuit we covered today, and now this, and and it kind of in the same area, in the same vicinity. Well, definitely, we're definitely in the valley. There's no doubt about that. And the other one started uh, basically out here in the Win uh, Winnetka area. So we are kind of close by. Uh, these speeds, though, this is nothing like the earlier pursuit. The earlier pursuit was very, very slow going. This guy's going 90 miles an hour on Corbin. Uh, and, you know, a lot of folks might say, what does that mean? If you don't live in the valley, you might not understand that. These are not the roads where you go have those kind of speeds. And I am very concerned that this is going to end poorly. Uh, that driver's got the window down, and you can actually see some agitation right there. I'm agitated every time he starts passing all those uh, slowed and stopped vehicles at every stoplight. I don't want to see this thing crash. I don't want to see anybody get injured. Making a hard turn, hard on the brakes, but oh. then he's going to get oh. squeezing, squeezing right through, through there. Squeezing through. Yeah. Squeezing through. Whoa! Oh. Spike strips. Oh. Spike strips. Those were spike strips. I don't know if that worked. That officer, again, was tossing out those spike strips. Uh, it looked like he actually threw it at the van, not under it. But still, at least there was that opportunity and that officer, t you know, putting himself in danger. Uh, that uh, that suspect could have easily swerved and crashed into him. But actually, he threw those spike strips. We're going to keep an eye on that driver's side wheel. Maybe, maybe we'll see something. A flat tire would definitely bring this thing to an end. And I believe... Wait a minute. We did it! We, yeah. we did it! Woo! Look at that! Wow. So we got two flat tires right now on the caravan. And you know what? I am excited about this, but this does not bring it to an end. This actually might have made this more dangerous. These high speeds, two flat tires going 60 miles an hour on Tampa. I am worried. I am beyond worried. Uh, hopefully that driver is going to have the good common sense to basically just kind of pull this over or find a way to where, you know, just get out and try to run. Keeping up these speeds with flat tires on a, on a caravan, I'm not I think is it is just it is just a bunch of bad it is just a bunch of bad and i just hope this ends well I, i'm oh my i'm shocked that that spike strip worked because from my vantage point at least it looked like it he just hit the car he didn't go underneath it but that was was that the first time spike strips were attempted yes as far as we wow. know, that was the first time we got to Spike Strip. And look this at that. thing is look starting to really yep. start to smoke, really start to weave. He's starting to lose control over it. He has slowed down, but, mm -hmm. you know, we're going, we went from 80 to 55. And this is going to be a very busy part of oh. town again as we're making our way up towards Rinaldi on Tampa. Uh, I'm just hoping that that van gives up before that, you know, before there's a problem. going to make that, looks like we're really starting to slow down. And stop. Oh. There he is. He is out. 
and he's going to try to run on foot. Now, where's the LAPD? I'm sure they're nearby. You can run all you want, but I don't think he's going to outrun any kind of vehicle. Making the run there, making it going into... Yeah, this is a gas station. I hope his plan is not to try to take somebody's car. Uh, he's underneath that awning right there. We're going to stay a little bit wider. Not that I don't... Not that I'm not trying to see him, but if he tries to steal somebody's car, I want to see that vehicle make their way out. Yeah, we, we don't know what's going on now. Uh, I don't think so. I think he's still underneath the... Uh, I didn't see him come out of the awning. He didn't... I didn't see him come out either. I didn't see him come out either. Uh, LAPD's in the area. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No way. Uh -oh. No way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's what I was talking about. What? That's exactly what I was talking about. Oh. And there he goes. And and in a BMW, uh, you know, I, I don't know if this is a plus or a minus, but this is not good at all. Uh, LAPD is the helicopter, I'm sure, has it. Yep, I'm looking out the window. I can oh. actually show it to you guys. The, the LAPD has it right there. You've got another black and white joining that pursuit. And now we're going southbound on Tampa. Aroxia, have um, we ever seen something that I, crazy? I cannot believe that. I saw that he ran. Wait a minute. Is there... I'm trying to look at the I passenger. hope there's not somebody in I that know, car. I know. I'm yeah. trying to look at that passenger side. Yeah, the I, windows I, are so tinted. It's difficult. Um, when he ran towards that gas station, I saw several people were filling up and their doors were open. And he ran past one individual. I was like, okay, good. You know, safe in that sense. But, you know, the fact that this guy well, is a wanted carjacker and the first vehicle he carjacked, it didn't, you know, we didn't put it past him that he'd do it again. And sure enough, he did it again with this again. BMW. I am just hoping no one is in that vehicle. Well, I'm sure if somebody's inside that vehicle, they're going to be putting up a fight. I know I definitely would, or at least I'd be uh, trying to figure out something right there. But, oh, my gosh, look at this. We're getting back up into those high oh, speeds yeah. on Tampa. Now we're going southbound, heading towards Rinaldi, and using those center dividers. And look at those speeds, almost touching triple digits. This was one of the reasons why I was worried when I saw it was a BMW. We just went from a van to a BMW, and this driver definitely always pushing those vehicles to the limit. Oh, Hard on the brakes and then uh, making our way on to, I believe this is going to be Lassen. And we're uh, continuing on right there. Center divider and this vehicle continuing to move. I got to tell you, Aroxia, I got to tell you, I am that guy that, especially on hot days, I don't shut off my car when I'm filling it up. But you know what? I'm from now on in. Those keys, that, that button is pushed, the car is off, and those keys are staying with me. Oh, no. You know what, Stu? I've, I have covering this um, <laughs> these pursuits and doing the job I do, I am so careful with that stuff like that. That key is with me at all times. I do not... <laughs> I do not mess around, um, and this is an example of that, you know, the, the people had absolutely yep. no idea that this was going on and going about their daily lives, and here you go. Um, I am just thinking also the fact that, well, this was a gas station, and this BMW likely perhaps has a full tank now, too. Yeah, a full tank or maybe needed gas, but what it, he's got enough gas to get away, that is for sure. I kind of wonder if it was that one guy that was just walking away, and he, he saw him, you saw him turn around yeah. and, and look back. But, I mean, it could have been, you know, there could have been something else going on. There might have been the driver of that car might have just been yelling like, hey, what are you doing? That's my car. But at any rate, we saw that carjacking happen. LAPD, they are in pursuit. This vehicle now on Winnetka once again, moving at 100 miles an hour and we're making our way into the heart of the valley luckily i think that was a red light red light but again that was one of those ones where uh you know there was nobody in that intersection it, it beyond lucky uh lapd has two helicopters on this right now believe me they want to take this guy into custody i want to see this guy in custody this is just beyond ludicrous and right now using that center divider 102 miles an hour so he's in the triple do, do, do. Oh, wow God. And then, and then making that hard turn right there. And uh, now we're on Parthenia, and, uh, but we're moving to the west. So we're heading out towards the West Valley area. But my goodness, what an afternoon. And these people that are on the ground down there just driving about, doing their business, hot day. And you got this lunatic driving by you, 100 miles an hour. This is uncalled for and definitely beyond dangerous. And, and it seems like majority of this pursuit he has stayed, um, for the most part, on surface streets. Um, that's kind of where he's sticking. 
Right now he is. We did see him on the freeway he for briefly, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Where we went live, and but it, this is uh, this is one of those ones where that BMW at least he's got a little bit of performance. But even that that car, I mean, I'm not again not putting anybody down, but it's one of these ones. I mean, if you're hard on the gas, hard on the brake, hard on the gas, it, it that car is going to start taking a beating. Those brakes are going to start heating up. The performance level is going to drop, and then that driver, I don't, you know, even though we haven't seen anything yet, I can tell you this guy is just running on lock and adrenaline and one of the two is going to run out and hopefully this doesn't ha that won't happen where somebody gets injured continuing to weave around center divider high speeds and we're staying on mason right now and we're i believe we're making our way southbound on mason so we're heading kind of into the uh the winnet we're out of the winnetka area over towards uh over towards the woodland hills area but it was very busy intersection right there and, uh, and just in a little bit more residential. And, you know, I, I see those cars blocking them in, uh -oh. and I'm actually kind of happy. He's weaving in and out, weaving in and out. <sighs> yeah. Um, and uh, what do you do? You know, what do you with, uh, with the fact that he just got away, for now, at least for now, with this second no, carjacking. That's, a, that's an L.A. Um, is that LAPD uh, or is that C CHP? I think that's I, LAPD I behind him right there. I was just yeah, thinking the LAPD fact unit. that he got away for now again, because this is limited, um, with the second carjacking, it emboldens someone like this person who doesn't care, obviously, and at this point really, really has nothing to lose, and they're just going to go all in, um, which just makes it so dangerous for everyone else on the road. Definitely so dangerous on the, everybody on the road. And this oh, 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 almost hit that Tesla. Uh, you know, and, and this is the thing right now. They have one LAPD unit on the ground a Going long the wrong way, way, solid yeah. wrong way. And, 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 they, and the helicopter, the LAPD helicopter, lost sight of it. So hopefully they're, uh, I know Dylan is trying to work with them, and they're going to try to regain uh, a, a, at least a location for the LAPD. But I'm sure that there's, uh, there's communication going on. So I know somebody from uh, LAPD is watching our picture right now and getting some information and passing it along. But still very, very high speeds. They had that one uh, uh, explorer, all-white explorer from LAPD that was trying to keep up. And this is the thing, too. You know, that officer is not going to put people's lives in danger. And this guy going 100 miles an hour on these surface streets, I'm sure the officer is going to do what he can. But there's going to be a limit where he's just going to say, I'm not going to be the one responsible for somebody's uh, passing or injury, so I'm going to back down. But right now, this car is still continuing to move along extremely high speeds. And again, beyond lucky, a lot of green lights, a lot of weaving in and out, a lot of close calls. I'm sure some of those people don't even know how close they came to being involved in a very bad accident this afternoon. Yeah, this is just uh, unbelievable and terrible, and it just keeps going and going. At this point, you know, we haven't seen um, what's going on down below as far as the, the attempting a spike strip. They were so successful with that first vehicle, but we don't know, you know, at this, there, there it is where we're going to see it on your right. There you see how fast that happened. On your right, you saw how, how they were able to... Um, get those spike strips in motion and that vehicle lost both of its front uh, the front tire and the back tire and then that led that carjacking suspect to ditch that car and go to the run, uh, gas station basically ran in took advantage of the fact that there was a vehicle there he is running in um we started worrying thinking oh no someone else might get carjacked sure enough that's exactly what happened he runs over there I, or I took the opportunity, I guess, someone someone over there. I think that that's the car, Stu, maybe. You can't see, but I believe no. someone was walking away from their vehicle, and that is the yes. car he ended up I taking. I saw that person, and, yeah. and you see him, like, turn he around. He turns and, like, around. Point, right? Yeah, he turns around, yeah. and he's confused, and uh, the police cruisers go into that gas station, but they didn't make it in time because immediately you will see in a moment that BMW come out of there, and uh, the chase is on. And so on your left-hand side, you're seeing what's happening live right now the reckless driving, the weaving in and out of traffic, going the wrong direction. But this is how it all played out to this point. Um, yeah, he took off. He took off with that one vehicle. So that person just left their car keys, I guess, in the car, or the car was running and just walked away from their car going into the yeah, convenience and, store. And 
you know, I, I again, I'm, I, I am that guy, but I'm not going to be that guy anymore. I, we're, we made our way all the way from Winnetka out to the Woodland Hills area. This is continuing on, making that westbound turn. Now we're on Irwin. This is another smaller street. Shoop out here. I was just going to say, doesn't it dead end? And it does right there. Making that hard turn on the Shoop. We're heading out towards, I'm almost wondering, because you did mention the word Ventura it, the, as the city where this all started, yes. or in the Ventura County area. You know, it, we're not kind of going directly at many opportunities probably to get on the 118, but we are kind of weaving our way over towards the 101. Perhaps this is going to get on the 101, and Ventura is going to be our destination. Right now, I can tell you, Shoop is where we are. High speeds is what's going on. That vehicle continues to move along, and it also, another thing that bothers me is that he's choosing that right lane so much, and you know there's slower traffic, you know there's people might be yeah. coming out of an intersection. You take a look, and he's like, you, you, it's clear, you don't expect somebody to be doing 100 miles an hour and they you know you think it's clear you pull out into the into the roadway and that that could be the problem slowing down here looks like we're making another turn another gas another station gas i hope station. it's another i hope it's not another swap of vehicles because there's a lot of traffic out here and that vehicle now stopping oh, oh my and goodness it, it, it just oh. wait here just wait here just wait here yes i'm gonna stay a little bit wider but this is one of those ones where you know is that him yeah that's him that's, that's him. him that's him he's oh, yeah. looking oh, he's yeah. looking Let me see. Yeah, he's looking. He's looking to see if there's a car running and I if there's an opportunity abound. And this is uh, this is so predatorial. This is such. This is scary to see. I because, wonder. You know, it, I wonder why he pulled in here because I'm thinking. I I just assumed. Oh, the BMW maybe had a full tank of gas at this point. Maybe it didn't. Maybe he was running out maybe of gas. It didn't. Yep. Yeah, it's not him. We're keeping an eye on it. We're just staying. I think he went back into that BMW. Uh, just kind of keeping an eye on what's going on right there. Don't want to really move. Oh, my God. This is a There's Chevron. People. This is a Chevron. This is a Chevron at the corner of Shoop and Clarendon. This is a Clarendon. <laughs> there we go. LAPD pulling in. That's That was the one behind him that whole time. It was a California Highway Patrol. I knew. I, I'm not saying it like that either. There you go. Oh, the pursuit oh, is going leaving. to be back he's on. Leaving. But this Ca California Highway Patrol not going to play. I have a feeling that that officer is going to be, is going to try to lock this guy down. And, uh, and, and there, here it comes. Here it oh. comes. Here it comes. Oh. Oh, oh, on the man. sidewalk. Oh. oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Wow. And uh, just kind of weaving around. Okay. California Highway Patrol getting behind him again. Taking one of those little side streets out here. Oh, uh, come on, come on, come on. This is actually an alleyway. And this brings you out. And there's construction workers. Oh. And this brings us out over to the 101, I think. Okay, back out on the Ventura well, I Boulevard. Well, I guess the BMW is uh. not out of gas. No. He was just looking to make a switch. Yep, and make a switch and maybe try to throw the throw the scent for the officers. But there are so many eyes on him right now. All our Fox viewers, I'm sure they are watching, and uh, and maybe and, uh, anybody on the internet as well. I, I don't think I don't want to say it like that, but I don't think this guy is going to get away. But I just hope it doesn't end in somebody being hurt, and that includes that driver. Right now, though, you, this is road construction out here on the on Ventura Boulevard, out in the Woodland Hills area. But that vehicle still continuing about uh, six. 60 miles an hour and I think the LAPD helicopter back overhead I'm gonna to try to clear that up with uh, with uh, uh, I'm sorry with, with my pilot this uh, afternoon but I uh, would keep an eye on it for sure and these high speeds dangerous situation and of course that driver behind the wheel and you know that adrenaline's got to be slowing down on that for that guy and hopefully he starts making some pause in another, another gas station, station. I'm gonna try it again oh my I'm gonna try it again I don't see any I don't see any cars there. No, he just went nope, out. No. Nope. Oh, oh! And that's what I knew. That oh, CHP, he that hit CHP him. officer, yeah. not going to play. Hopefully, hopefully that uh, didn't disable that uh, officer's vehicle. I'm staying a little wider. He's trying to make a U-turn. I'm wondering if he if, if it damaged his steering because he did kind of sideswipe him when he had the tire when he had the wheel turned. But that BMW definitely striking that uh, officer's vehicle and now continuing on even higher speeds back onto that uh, portion of the uh, Ventura Boulevard where they're doing that road construction. There we go. You got because. LAPD or another, another California Highway Patrol getting involved in there, and they're going to get behind them. I don't know if they're going to match those speeds, though, because this is extremely dangerous, especially on surface streets. 
Um, I was also thinking when he pulled into that gas station where it looked like he was going to make a switch, uh, perhaps now we know the answer that there was no one else in that vehicle because that individual or individuals would have taken would have that opportunity out. to get out. So at least that's good news. There Definitely. is no one in Another there. Another gas station. Another gas station. Another gas station. Is that the same one? Another gas station. No, this Is this the same one? That, oh, this is... Yes, we're back where we started. Huh. Uh... uh Oh, okay, no, this, so is this is an Arco. It's an Arco. It's an Arco. One, okay, all right. This is a different one. Yeah. Wait, we got a van tearing out of there. He did the oh, swap. He sw He did the swap. No. He did. This is unbelievable. Un three. Unbelievable. We're at three vehicles. This is the second one that we've seen, and we understand that that van was also a carjacking vi uh, victim. So that van continuing on right there, you can that's definitely him. There's no doubt about it. Using those center lanes, picking up those high speeds again, and we're on Ventura Boulevard coming up to Topanga. And, you know, and this is the thing, too. You're swapping vehicles like that. Th that black and white, not sure, but definitely, uh, hopefully makes a U-turn, but he's not coming back up onto Topanga Canyon. But you got to think, you went from a caravan to a BMW to a full-size Econoline. You know, I don't even know if they call them that anymore. It's not. It's a Chevy. But uh, so you went to a full-size Chevy van. So, you know, this is the thing. It's like these are all very different types of vehicles. This is a very different type of driving for that vehicle. There you go. That that, that officer from LAPD didn't get, this, get the, get the rope-a-dope, and they are now right behind him once again. So this van starting to move, and again, a lot of traffic, and he's making his way into more of a high traffic area coming up and looks like we are going to be getting onto the 101 this is going to get so dangerous oh my gosh this is just unbelievable i mean really the one of the morals of the stories um uh, be careful when you're at a gas station and keep your keys on you and don't leave them in the vehicle lock your doors although if you have a, uh, a keyless starter that doesn't help either because you can just be close enough to the car and someone's able to start your car. Uh, but wow, this is just, it's just, uh, I don't Scary. even have the words for it because I don't think we've it, ever seen something like this. Yeah, you can see the uh, gas cap yeah, and, the, ca and the door open. open. Really, there's so much traffic out here. I was staying tight on there. I just wanted to just get a better look at it, but I need to stay a little bit wider. Take a look at all that traffic. You just saw those maneuvers that that driver made. The, anybody knows the 101 is going to be really busy, and it looks like he knows it now, too, and he's going to be getting back off the freeway. Looks like it's going to be the DeSoto off-ramp, and again, the speed's about 60 miles an hour on the off-ramp. If there is a plus, maybe that van, not going to have that. That acceleration not going to have those top speeds but that driver keeping his foot in it now up onto the sidewalk or the curb whatever you want to call it over there making his way onto DeSoto and cutting across traffic there you go California Iowa Patrol waiting for him and it's a lot of traffic underneath that bridge a little bit of a fishtail and back onto the highway he goes the opposite direction yeah, he's back on um, for a second there I thought he was exiting to go to another gas station Seems yeah, like. I, I, we, we, wouldn't have shocked us, huh? I mean, right. this is, that seems to be his M.O. But definitely, there's a lot of lessons to be learned, and one of them is definitely do not keep your vehicle running or the keys in it when you're getting fuel. Believe me, I am not doing that ever again. Look at that. Okay, there you go. LAPD helicopter in the shot right there. Always makes a nice picture. But right now, he's trying to hug in that right lane, and now right behind that other vehicle, I'm just, I just don't want to see him make contact with anybody at high speeds, especially on the freeway. We don't want to see somebody losing control. But again, this is the third, the, the, well, the second one that we've actually witnessed, third carjacking as we understand it. Right. That van continuing to move along. We're westbound or northbound on the 101, heading out of the uh, Woodland Hills area, out towards Calabasas. Yep, I know, and we're watching this, uh, you know, volume is picking up, it's already almost two in the afternoon, so um, there are a lot of people out on the roads, and again, most of these people have no idea what's happening, so that's always the danger. That gas cap is out, so one would yep. think... Perhaps, uh, you know, I mean, two things can happen. The car is full of gas and the guy didn't have time to put the cap on or or it um, or it's about to run out of gas. It's needing. It's yeah. going to need it's some fuel. One extreme or the other. Don't know. 
Yeah, you just don't know. I mean, my you know, my parents when they were driving, half a tank meant empty to them. With me, I'm a, I'm always I'm waiting for you know I'm always doing the oh, do I got my AAA card because I'm always running on empty. So but am just I. don't know yeah. this person's yeah you just don't know this person's driving habits that uh, that the owner of the van that this guy the guy driving that van we know his driving habits we've been watching it 100 miles an hour on surface streets cutting in and out cutting off people many a close call and it looks like thinking about but not you know it looks as like we were going to take the off ramp there went through that gore point and again really high speed hard on the brakes because there's a lot of traffic out there this afternoon i don't know if he's going to try to get back off the freeway right now though looks like we're northbound on the 101 calabasas will be the next big city but you know or next to next city as it would be but you said this started this started in the ventura area that vehicle was stolen out of ventura so maybe we're going back to ventura just trying to figure out what was the purpose of this third carjacking um did he really think that was going to throw the police off uh, what was the point yeah. of that who knows? I know, I, mean, I know. Really, this is just truly. us speculating. Uh, it, but. It, 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 yeah. You just you, you just don't know with these with any of these suspects. I get those questions too a lot when I talk to friends and family and you know people that just people that are that watch Fox and they uh, were just curious. They they ask me all the time. It's like what you know what is that guy thinking? And it, it, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a psychologist, and it would be fun to have one maybe just to talk to. But I'm sure that psychologist won't know either. I always just believe that whoever's inside the driving that vehicle right now is just trying to get away thinking that maybe he's going to be able to do it and or just enjoying his last few moments of not being in custody but right now we're going 90 miles an hour one one t oh, sorry 101 freeway and you can watch it right there we're coming up on in the calabasas area a lot of weaving in and out and he seems to really he like that be, right shoulder might be thinking so of an exit nope, yep might be thinking of like an it. exit maybe change yeah. the line but uh, we'll keep an eye on it. And again, you know, th this is the deal. 100 miles an hour, full-size Chevy van, work van. If this vehicle taps or bumps into somebody, it's not going to go well. And I can also see that that vehicle, it, you know, it is not a BMW. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, bump that car. It, it, oh, that little, that little Mini Cooper. And it was, a, it was a nice one, too, that little blue. Thank goodness he didn't lose control, but definitely is going to have some damage. So we did see one collision out there that's going to be on the 101 near Las Virginis. And that was that little... Uh, blue mini cooper convertible so that person probably not very happy about what happened but i'm hoping that uh, california highway patrol might be behind them still even at these high speeds they've got to be in the general area lapd definitely over above i won't lose the car or the van as it would be but just kind of getting a better idea of traffic and or if there's law enforcement i, I don't, don't see, see any. anybody I behind don't see them. any yeah, yeah i don't see any other yeah. so Stu, um you know we're about 156 here close to two o'clock um i'm going to step away marla is coming in now to relieve me but marla. i'm going to i'm going Still. to fill her in on what's happening so she's caught up and we can give our audience a chance to catch up too if they're just joining us so basically marla this was a uh, carjacking well actually started uh, in Burbank apparently and uh, this the first vehicle the suspect had was involved in a collision of some sort with the law enforcement vehicle and then that's the first vehicle during the pursuit they were able to successfully administer the spike strip right so the loses yes. the tire he parks gets out look at him he's running in he's gonna run into that gas station because that car was pointless at that point to drive both of the tires had gone out look he's going to take that bmw that white bmw in the mm -hmm. back the person who uh, owns that car had stepped away. See the person who had stepped away? They kind of turn around. They look to see what's going on. Oh, yeah. So he's jumping in. Law enforcement pulls in a number of black and whites, but they're late. He's already in the car, and you're going to see him in a moment take off. By the way, you're looking live on the left side of your screen. On the right side, we're showing you what led to this very moment where we are right now. So we're playing that for you. There he is in the white BMW on the right side of your screen. He takes off. 
How long was he in the BMW so he was in for? The BMW for I don't know, Stu. What would you say, like 20 minutes or so, uh, something like something that? Something like that, 20 minutes or so. Made it, it made really good time. He started up in the Winnetka area, wound it up in Woodland Hills, and that's where he did that swap, right? Right. So he swapped. So Arco. now he's in the BMW. No one else was in this vehicle. Then, during the drive, he comes to this gas station. Okay. Now he's at this other gas station, and now you're going to you're not going to see him do this, but he swaps again. He carjacks the van. The van that he's currently that, in. The van he's currently in. So this is vehicle number three, carjacked, vehicle number three. And he, you see him take off, and that's where we are now, jumped on the freeway. And so we have three vehicles that this suspect stole. And uh, the pursuit is on. He's driving recklessly, weaving in and out of traffic, as you can see. Yep. Um, he's very he, scary for drivers he's out a there. a number of cars, really scary, yeah, going the wrong way, completely, you know, just one of those has nothing to lose at this point. So that makes it all the more dangerous. So this is where we are, and um, we'll see what happens next. Okay, Aroxia, well, thank you. I thank know you, you've had a Thanks, long day. Crew. I will pick it up from here. Marla Tay is here uh, relieving Aroxia as we're looking live at this wild pursuit, the second wild pursuit, I will say, of the day. I know Stu and crew, you were over a pursuit that lasted hours involving a cement truck. That was today, if you can believe it. And here we are all these hours later and the, the clock is just about to strike two. Yep. And we have a second wild pursuit as Aroxia just outlined for me. This is the third carjacked vehicle. This one here is a white van. This is now uh, in the San Fernando Valley. Uh, Stu, go ahead. Uh, well, give me your thoughts. We're in the Agora Hills area actually right now, and uh. you got uh, Ventura California Highway Patrol. Just got off the 101 freeway. Ray is Adobe. He got off, and then he's uh, now you can see him ma making his way back over, and it looks like it looks like we're going to be getting back onto the freeway. California Highway Patrol right behind him. Now, whoa! Oh my goodness, that was embarrassing. Uh, but uh, I was going to say, California Highway Patrol out here in the Ventura area, they all have the, they all have and they all have procedures that they have to follow. But it seems that uh, it's it, we've followed a couple of them in the past, and the, the officers out here in California Highway Patrol out in the Ventura area, they're a little bit more aggressive, and they do not appreciate uh, suspects speeding and, and pursuing on their freeways. So right there, you've got one of the California, two maybe, of the California Highway Patrol vehicles making their way, trying to catch up to that white van. That van actually in the triple digits, that's not a mistake on Skyfox. Every now and then when we go wide, those numbers go wild, but you can see it right there, but just touching the 100 mile an hour mark, just into those triple digits, moving very, very quickly. Don't know what's inside that van, but I would venture to say it cannot be that heavy. So that is a very light vehicle in the rear. We have seen it fishtail a couple of times. So that driver clearly you know right now we haven't seen any problems but this would be a good vehicle for a pit maneuver if they slow down there's no way they're going to do it at any kind of 100 miles an hour but if he's getting off an off ramp and there's an opportunity these officers from california highway patrol i would put money on it that they will try to make that pit maneuver right now though we're going about 100 miles an hour california highway patrol they're the ones on the ground behind it in the air i believe that we still have the uh, Cal uh, of lapd with us we uh, PD-10 is still with us, so that's that's great news for those officers. They're going to get good information where it is and, and where it's going, but right now you've got two California Highway Patrol officers. you got that polar bear. That's that all-white one, and then you've got the uh, standard right there, and then, of course, that suspect vehicle, and like I said, on the freeways, these officers, they're going to keep up with that vehicle the best they can and stay keep it safe, but I'm telling you, if the opportunity arises on an off-ramp or some kind of surface street, they might make that move, and we're going to see, hopefully see, a good pit maneuver. Right now, traffic's starting to get a little tight out there, Marla, mm -hmm. and that always worries me, especially because we've seen him already clip one vehicle today. That was that little Mini Cooper, I think, right before you get, uh, got I on the studio. That. Yeah. I, saw I feel that bad Mini for that Cooper driver. Get sideswiped or, or get but, clipped. Fortunately, yeah. uh, not too much damage, but nonetheless, I mean, it's just, it's, you can't even imagine what that must be like as you're cruising along at the speed limit on a Wednesday afternoon and all of a sudden out of nowhere you get clipped yep. by a, a pursuit suspect. So this is the uh, Thousand Oaks area, US 101 North. The exit they just passed was Ventura. Speeds upwards of 
g getting close to 100 miles an hour. We've seen it beyond the triple digit thus far. Extremely dr uh, dangerous erratic driving by this suspect. We can tell you that it is one male suspect. We've seen this person because they've literally gotten out of their vehicle to carjack another vehicle. That This is the third vehicle that this person has carjacked. It is a white van now on the shoulder there. Stu, uh, you know, I know the big question for law enforcement is uh, beyond, you know, motive and what's driving the suspect uh, and potentially, you know, strong mental health issues involved. Whatever the case may be, they also always treat these suspects as if they're armed. Well, they always have that in, in mind that this person may be armed, and the fact that he's taken a couple of other vehicles might indicate that maybe he has something more than harsh language or luck with him when he's doing these uh, car swaps. We, you know, the first vehicle that uh, we uh, we were told was a carjacking vehicle all over the road, and you see what I'm talking about with those fishtailing, it, that that rear end swir swerving back and forth, a lot of traffic. So the suspect's deciding to get off that freeway, kind of just go a little bit wider. I want to see where those. California Highway Patrol are now he's going to make his way down to the end of that and it looks like a lot of traffic this might be that opportunity that yep. California Highway Patrol needs to get up behind him and then maybe be able to do that pit maneuver behind the trees right there and it looks like we're just getting off to get back on oh no and what is oh, he no. doing now no no no, right no, no, here. no 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 he's no 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 Yep, the California Highway Patrol, Ventura, they do not play. I told you that earlier on, and they are really showing it to us again right there. Uh, and again, this is, you know, somebody might say, oh, that was on It's not. You saw what this guy was doing. You saw mm -hmm. those carjackings. We hope, thank goodness, there wasn't anybody in any of those other cars. But right now, that van stuck-ish. But does it, is it shut down? Is the engine right. off? Is this person complying? I don't know. And if he decides to run and, uh, you know, crashes you see into the hands another up officer, too. Or, no, see hands are out. Hands are out. Hands are out. Uh, hands it are looks out. like okay. finally he yeah. will surrender. So this is yeah. the Moore Park Woo. Road exit in Thousand Oaks right off the yeah. 101. That was quite the showing Warpark. of force from yes. uh, Ventura Police and also CHP. Ventura Police are involved, yeah. right? Or the sheriff's department. No, no, this is just going to be the California Highway Correct. Patrol. California Highway Patrol. This is going to be the Ventura uh, division of them. And you can see it right there. They, they got officers. They got this guy down on the ground. I'm sure that's hot pavement. But right now, you know what? Oddly enough, I just don't care that much for his comfort. Anyways, he is on the ground. He is spread out. He is complying. Officers from the uh, California Highway Patrol out here in force. And again, what an ending to a crazy wow. pursuit. But that's the thing. If they wouldn't have taken those measures mm -hmm. this could have continued and it could have ended tragically and right now you just have some damage to a couple of vehicles and the california highway patrol capturing somebody that was involved in a crash injuring an officer possibly injuring an officer that we heard earlier on but right now that suspect in custody marla coming to an uh successful end out here yeah. in the Ventura County. Area. Now officially in handcuffs by CHP officers down below again. We do want to applaud those CHP officers for taking these extreme measures to finally bring this to an end. Extremely dangerous pursuit involving you see the young man down there now being taken to a black and white uh, involved in what we deem to be three carjackings. So we're happy that he is now in custody. We're sorry for those involved and whose vehicles were uh, damaged as a result of his erratic driving. Stu, it looks like his demeanor, like he is has a few choice words for, for deputies down there, for, for officers. Yeah, definitely. Uh, de he is cooperating. He might be a little bit vocal, but you know what? In the end, I'm just happy that nobody was seriously hurt. Mm -hmm. And again, not clear on injuries on that officer, but that suspect involved in an earlier pursuit this afternoon that was short-lived, but a, an officer from LAPD was involved in an accident. And then uh, that mm -hmm. car popped up again, and then they, they saw it. It was a short pursuit, but he, he lost those officers and then uh, and then they found that vehicle because they really were looking for him but in the end California Highway Patrol doing what needed to be done bringing this to a stop and that suspect now in custody but you can see him right there a little unhappy about what his situation I'm happy the public is safe and that this is over finally with no major injuries yeah we're all happy about that thank goodness I think we do want to show our viewers the ending of how this all came to an, a conclusion finally. This is the Moore Park Road off-ramp.
and he gets boxed in this we're still not seeing uh, I, I know we're working to show you the uh, how this all came to an end but this suspect took that exit there tried to make a u-turn there it is uh, and, and to no avail, then gets blocked in, and then that CHP cruiser just goes slams right into the middle just to make sure, sort of the nail in the coffin, if you will. And fortunately, the suspect didn't run. You'll see in a moment, hands come out, and then you see on the end, on your left side of your screen, the smaller box, that is the, the conclusion. So this a suspect finally making his way out of this stolen white van from a nearby gas station and now that suspect is officially in custody so officers draw, uh, guns were drawn for for just a short time before the uh, the guy the suspect decided to surrender thankfully so the left again the smaller box that is a live picture of the suspect now being hauled away wearing black long shorts a white t-shirt uh, office, officers down below taking him elsewhere i suppose maybe there's another transporting put vehicle in a car. yeah to put him in a car up ahead and now they have to contend with you know who does this van belong to who does the who does the other van belong to lots of uh lots of connecting the dots here Stu. and then we're going to wrap this a lot up. of paperwork yeah yeah a lot of paperwork for a lot of officers but again you just got to hand it to the california highway patrol especially the ventura county uh, uh, uh officers and they brought they took saw that opportunity they so that window opened up and they jumped through it and they brought this to an end again though this card we saw this van actually getting carjacked but in the woodland hills area but right now it is over and finished might be a crime scene here for a little bit but mm -hmm. i'm sure california highway patrol on ramp open in no time all right Stu. well thank you to the crew you've had a very busy day of pursuits uh we will uh again remind you this is the exit at moore park road and 101 in thousand oaks so you're going to want to avoid this if you can uh, we'll work to get some more information for you and bring that to you coming up tonight on the fox 11 news at five o'clock with alex michelson and christine devine and then you'll see me at six o'clock so for now i'm marla Tejas in the fox 11 studio we're going to send you off you're just uh, watching you there, our Fox 11 and team, as that concludes the pursuit there taking place in Los Angeles as they carjacked three individuals. You can see uh, 29,000 of you tuning in here on our multi-platinum or multi-service uh, stream service here on live now from Fox. Let's take you right back out as uh, we continue on. This is a live picture right there uh, here overhead of that exit that we just saw taking place uh, from just a little bit ago. The second uh, long pursuit we saw earlier today, one with a concrete mixing truck, uh, as uh, we saw that for three plus hours earlier on today. This one with a carjacking there with three different vehicles involved uh, in a expansive area in Southern California. Let's take you right back though to some of these incidents from a little bit earlier as it started with a van, as uh, a white van there pulling into a gas station. Let's watch this from uh, our previously recorded section, our live now replay. As you can see, this was in the first vehicle there as he approaches a gas station and tries to carjack another individual. You can see him running along the street. At this point, uh, he was just there for a stolen vehicle, uh, approaching a uh, gas station, uh, trying to find a different vehicle, and he eventually does. It leads to this other uh, different white, smaller uh, sedan vehicle, uh, compact car uh, there at this gas station. You see police arriving there shortly at this, as you can see there, Tampa Avenue as well, and they are trying to box him in to this gas station, but to no avail uh, as he would eventually get out and back on the run one more time. You can see the helicopters overhead from just a little bit ago uh, as our helicopter, our Sky Fox cam, was monitoring this. You can see there in that white vehicle as officers are out of their vehicle trying to stop him. He eludes them and goes to a different exit to get on the run one more time. Of course, that happened. And then a little later on, after he goes to a, yet another gas station, this also, as he's in his second vehicle, now pulling into yet another gas station looking for 
a third vehicle. You can see him pulling into there, and there is that white van that would ultimately end this chase as uh, the Skyfox cam overhead one more time. You can kind of see his uh, police again pulling into this gas station and him pulling out. You can see him eluding police on Ventura Boulevard there uh, heading toward the 101. So this was the third car he carjacked there and it ultimately led to this. You can see the gas cap still open on that as uh, we are still watching this here. And then it ended with this as he's getting off an exit, boxed in by police, by uh, just a median there. As you can see, some traffic. Those citizens didn't really know what was happening. And you might imagine they are not aware. Uh, they're just in their cars, not on their phones, not watching Fox 11 or live. Now from Fox, he tries to elude police get back around but that's where chp the california highway patrol rams into the vehicle on this freeway entrance on the north 101 that eventually leads to the apprehension of this individual there just a, a single male uh that we watched here on live Duff from fox a scary incident three different vehicles carjacked there in southern california before bringing this individual into custody i'm andy mack let's slide away for a quick two-minute break